In other slightly obscure news, Today's Rich Vlog is sponsored by Full Sail University. Have you ever thought about turning your love of gaming into a career but are not sure where to start? Full Sail University offers a variety of gaming degree programs on campus and online that teach you the tools, technology, and workflow used by today's gaming studios. Whether you're interested in coding, art, producing, or mobile game development, there's a game degree program for you. Graduates have worked on huge franchises like GTA, Assassin's Creed, and Call of Duty to name a few. Click the link in the description to find out more about Full Sail. It has been 22 years since the release of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 on the Sega Genesis. Some of you may or may not remember that Michael Jackson was supposed to compose the score for that game, but when the game came out it gave credit to a few other artists instead. So it has been a myth for the last 22 years that Michael Jackson actually did do the music for the game, but received no credit for it. Well, just today, the three people that did receive the credit for it admitted that Michael Jackson did the music for the game. So mystery solved, it was Michael Jackson, and it is no coincidence that if you speed up or slow down some of those tracks, they sound kind of like Michael Jackson songs. As to why Michael Jackson didn't get credit for the game in the first place, probably has something to do with the fact that he was in court when the game was released and Sega wanted to distance themselves from him at that time. I'm Rich Alvarez, see you guys.